set up for you. How long do you bring them into another form of human? So I want them to look at not just Ramayana, but I so also like to bring them into something contemporary. Then I show them Rudyard to play Jungle Book. There's a monkey character in it was who was raised by that no, sorry, there's Mowgli in it, raised by the monkey. You know, and so that from that story. So I got three dancers. I developed three different three different form, which is so simple. So you know, like when you see normal uh, monkey movement, you go like this. So from that from that movement, you know, just from that movement. So this girl that I chose, she's like a she's like a boy, she has short hair, white hair. I said you are perfect, you're going to be my monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Until now I'm still calling her on Facebook. Hey my white monkey. <laughs> Yeah, and then I have, um, then there's another idea that I'm bringing to it, Charles Darwin theory of evolution. And as you can see from this, it's, it's just a simple idea of how monkey developed from that, from that idea into it. So I just create that, that movement. So it's just like, you know, that simple movement, that, now, so when people say, what is your dance actually? Well, okay, I call it tra contemporary tradition, or some friends will call it it's contemporary based tradition, which means I'm using modern composition, but using all the traditional vocabulary. I didn't go to dance school, but then there are two great Masters in Malaysia we didn't go to dance school either. We have Rami Ibrahim who did engineering. We have Azani who did economics. You know, we have all these people. So I said, what is stopping me? Right? I did accounting at diploma. I did marketing for my degree. And recently, when I applied for a job at local university, they said, your degree it's not suitable for the post. Though you have your PhD in the arts, but we have problems with your first degree. <laughs> so I said, fuck it. <laughs> so that's that. I, you know, when we talk about monkey, there's always about the tail. People say, uh, we can't see you moving like that as a monkey. So I said, okay, what's the problem? Is it because of the tail? Okay, I will add the tail. And because I created the monkey or the Hanuman from Shadow Bucket, so, the, so I took the first movement as from the Shadow Bucket. That <laughs> now I have a long tail. <laughs> so the monkey goes on. Hanuman goes on. I don't know where it's taking me. And in Malaysia, this kind of thing doesn't have big audience. So someone, someone said to me, maybe you should look at making your Hanuman into a musical. You know, we are, we are big on musical, right? You go to Istana Budaya, there's nothing else. It's just musicals throughout the year. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have to go and train myself how to make a musical. Okay, the next piece that I would like to talk is By two five one zero oh, two 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 zero oh, oh, four. This is quite controversial. Work. In as you can see, in two thousand four, hundred Muslims 
were killed or accidentally killed in South Thailand, in Tabai, which is just across from my house, like across the river. My house is here in Kutubaru. That's the river. That's Tabai. Well, originally we were one. We were one. We were one kingdom. Because divided by Bangkok Treaty, 1909, then we became two different countries, you know, Kelantan, Patani. And Patani is an important uh, culture center in performance. Then, in this piece, I also would like, I also uh, brought in uh, Mahyong. Mahyong is a dance theater. Now, it's um, a world heritage recognized by UNESCO. Uh, Mahyong has about 12 repertoire. It's a very important work. And, but then, how many times a year we could see this performance in Kuala Lumpur? And the worst part is, all the performers, Mahyo, Ashe, Wayang Kule, Manura, Mayan Petri, these are the performers, are banned in Kelantan <laughs> since 1990. But they're still going on underground. So please do not think that underground are only for young people. <laughs> in Kelantan, these people move underground. So they're doing underground. As long as you don't let the, the officials know about it, then go. I created this work first for Pango Mataraya in Kuala Lumpur and then uh, moved to Bangkok. I got a very severe response from people in Bangkok because they were not happy. We are talking about the Thai government, right? None of the audience wanted to talk to me after the show. Everyone was like avoiding, you know, let's not talk about this person. He's dangerous, you know. But um, I was very lucky, I was selected in one the summer program in Brown where I created this. And this success, I would call it, all the things that make us happy, is continuing. You know, they, they call you every year, every summer, to come and talk. And they say, oh, we want that time by piece. You know, we didn't see that piece, you know, over and over again. Okay, the time by piece. Um, you see the video. But what I'd like to, sh to share with you is just little things, how simple things that could give us inspiration. I was inspired by a rap song uh, by a group called Anantikir. The song is called TikTok TikTok Sympathy. <laughs> In the lyrics, actually. Um, Thank <laughs> you. 
Kuat, Berbudur, and so on. But we never really even know what we have. It keeps, it's not being talked about, it's been hidden. So this is a real secret. This is real secret. If you have the time, go up north and see. And I think they are about to reveal that this site is now the oldest um, Hindu Buddhist site in Southeast Asia. So there we, we work. So uh, the form collider between Odyssey with Sila and uh, my own form that I have, because I'm from Kelantan. So those, those are the kind of memory and experience that I have. So we, we work a lot on that. And we recreate this. So that's uh, like forest around the, pe uh, around the site. How many of you have been to the Bermuda? One, two. And this beautiful river there. And I always work with material. I always work with cloth. I, I just love cloth. And I think Southeast Asia is, has so much of that. You know? We wear sarong, we wear cloth, we wear scarf, regardless of what race, I think. You know, and that's my signature. Someone, a dramatist recently said to me, Oh, I you the one who flaunts around with cloth on stage? <laughs> I said, Yeah, that's me. And um, I would like to end with this. It's very important. So we're now looking at it and we, we, we have agreed that what the Babujan is all about is really about the cosmopolitan side in the second century. That we, we could not imagine. What is it like, second century, you know? So what we're doing now is really recreating that. Recreating. So we would love to get help from various people. So we'll be talking to historian, archaeological, uh, 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 archaeologists, anthropologists, musicians, and so on. And uh, we hope, uh, we hope to stage it again in November this year, and hopefully at some point, Asia Society New York. Thank you very much.